So I'm here five days later um, after I harvested a few bars of honey. Um, it was all cross combed. I had neglected my hive for around uh, a month. So I'm just going to inspect um, to see what's going on, see if they've made any progress. And I'm hoping that the cross combing has corrected itself um, after I uh, fixed and straightened those combs and harvested some of the other uh, bars. So what I'm going to do is um, take one of these fully drawn out bars that doesn't have uh, any eggs or anything on it and see if I can insert it over here uh, where the comb might need a little bit more guidance. Bar 13 from what I remember um, was 100% drawn out and only had a little bit of drone brood in it. So I'm just going to break the propolis seal here. And the bees are definitely aggressive. They don't want me being in their hive right now. They're all trying to attack the knife. Well, they're not liking that. Let's see what we have going on here. Five days ago, it was really just honey and drone brood. So today I'm not seeing any eggs in there. So this bar seems to be a good candidate to use as a guide for the bees to uh, build out the other comb. So I'm going to come in over here, try to remove some of these bars that I you know don't have anything on it, just so I can make a space. need to retrieve some comb that fell to the bottom uh, after mm -hmm. my last inspection. This is just one of the joys of top bar beekeeping. This is one of the bars that I had mm -hmm. tried fixing five days ago. So I'm just actually going to straighten this out a little bit again. So in here um, there's some comb attached to the sides and this piece that actually fell is attached to the walls too. So I'm just going to slowly and carefully reach inside. I'm going to pull this out. Shake the bees off of it. This one is starting to cross comb again. So I'm going to take this, just push it over a little bit. This side, push that over. This is probably a good place for me to put bar 13 since uh, there's only partial comb built out on this bar and this bar. So hopefully this will get them back into building straight home. That way a little bit. So that they get the idea of what I want them to do. And then where it's starting to go off center here, do the same. Now, I do notice I'm going to need a spacer bar here because it's, this comb on this side is uh, a little thick. So, I'll just put this one back as well. Try to get out of here as fast as I can. Yeah. Because these bees are not having it. So here's that spacer bar. Mm -hmm. 
just push it in nice and snug. And take one of my empty bars. And then I'll need to fill that gap, so I should actually move all of these over as well. And this is going to make the bees mad, but it's got to be done. Like I said earlier, this is not very fun at all. It's something I have to do because I neglected my hive for around 30 days. Got way too busy. Okay, so I just got a little sting on my hand there, so I just put some um, tea tree oil and some peppermint oil on my, on my gloves that uh, it masks the scent. Okay, so I got that last bar in. And now I'm just gonna try to close this up here. So here's a little bit of what I'm dealing with today. 